throughout the semester, I'm going to continue to try to impress upon you that statistics is important to everyone in every field. Um, now, some of you will definitely leave this class and potentially never complete a statistical procedure again. You may not have to construct the graphs that we're looking at in this section. You may not have to engage in any of the inferential statistics that we'll get to later in this semester. But everybody's affected by decisions that are made based off data collection. Um, one very easy application of that, or one easy example to see, is looking at crime statistics in your area. So lots of cities are making information on uh, crime events, for lack of a better term, uh, more and more available to citizens. Um, so one, it helps actual police officers and uh, departments plan better, but it also just makes citizens more aware of what's going on around them, um, <clears throat> what sort of things are happening in their neighborhood. So if we're on the Bloomington website, we can click on Raids Online, which is an interactive map, which will automatically take us to Bloomington, Illinois. So what I'm gonna do is just walk you through the steps of what you'll need to do to complete this discussion, both your initial post and then your uh, reply to a classmate. So the first thing we'll wanna do is click this buffer to be on and change that to about a five mile radius. So this way we're getting information not just for Bloomington, but probably normal and maybe some surrounding areas as well. So we see a lot of different icons because initially we're seeing all sorts of different events. What we're going to do for this discussion is go in, deselect all of these, which will erase the map, and then we're, you're going to choose just a single event. So in this, for this example, I'm just going to use shoplifting. I'm going to select shoplifting, and then I'm going to set my date range to go back a year from today, uh, which this pretty much is December 19th, oh no, December 19, that's going back about a month. So let's change this to January 2014. And we can make this January 18th, 2014. So now I've got data going back a year. If I zoom out, I can start to get a better picture of where throughout the Bloomington normal area these shoplifting events are occurring. If I want to see more specifically what's happening in my neighborhood, I could zoom in. And let's say if your neighborhood is, for instance, downtown Bloomington, we could zoom in to see what sort of events, what shoplifting events occurred in your neighborhood during the last year. So that's what you're going to look at and talk about for your first post. When you reply to a classmate, then you're going to click on this analytics tab. And this is going to output a couple of graphs. <clears throat> the one we're going to take a look at is this crime type by day of week. And this is going to create a bar graph with Monday through Sunday as our different categories, and then the bar heights representing the frequency, so the number of events that occurred on those days of the week. So in the past year, um, for instance, with shoplifting, five of those events happened on Sundays, two of those events happened on a Thursday, and so on. So you're going to look at what other the information that someone else selected. You're going to come in and take a look at this bar graph, and then you're going to provide an interpretation of it um, highlighting those specific characteristics that we're interested in, and then explain what those results are telling us, making sure that that's in the context of the data, so that you're explaining that to someone in a clear, concise, and understandable way. 